Oh yeah, it's time for another packed review. Packed anywhere. Where can you take it? Anywhere. If you want it, you can pack it in a little bag. Slightly bigger, slightly bigger in the daddy bag. Ooh, it's so real. The way it feels when we're making all our moves together. Multiple trips to the car. Scratch that, put it all in one big bottom sealed carry all. From my own personal perspective, this five liter sling is pretty damn effective. I travel with the 25 liter duffel bag. My wife and my son got the bigger ones. I'm the dad. I'm the dad. The father figure on these children's passage. What does it say about me? To think too little or too much about the baggage. I'm the dad. The one who carries all the bags when we're in transit. I've got to think about these things. These backpack straps. Oh, oh, there's backpack straps. You can carry this. new bags from Pact. As I said in the intro, this is the Pact Anywhere collection. And this is like this huge gear hauler that I use as a tote. I'm gonna walk you through that in a minute. They got this five liter sling, which I have absolutely, I've actually lived in this whole time. They sponsored this road trip that I just went on with my family. It was great. We did, got to see my family. We got to see old friends. It was correct. It was, it was wild. Big duffel, little duffel with the top access. This is the one that I use because I'm the dad. My wife got one of these. My son got one of these. And then all the family stuff goes in this, this big old gear hauler. I'm telling you, one of the secrets to travel in the car is having a huge carry-all. This was just from yesterday, horses for my daughter. We went to the pool, right? So this is just like, like this is how this bag has become used for us. Shout out to Halinox. I think I've got an affiliate link for these chairs. Hey, listen, these are, I'll link to these below if you wanna support the channel and you need a new chair, solid. These have been actually really excellent. I will link to them below. This big carryall is probably one of my, like the thing I'm most excited about. This is a replacement for that Ikea blue bag. If you don't want to spend money on something, go to Ikea and like buy a doily or something like that and get one of those blue plastic material that is almost indestructible, but it does tear, it does rip over time and you just kind of like, but that's the move using one of those. This is the upgraded version of that. You've got a sealed material on the bottom so it doesn't absorb moisture or oils or dirt, sand gets off. That's a big deal when you're out at the beach. And then you've got just tons of space. Now, Malcolm showed me how this thing actually zips up and over your, the things that you have inside. I couldn't be arsed. That's just not how I'm using this thing. I like to stuff it in and then Two long straps, there we go. If this gets heavy, your veins are gonna be popping out in this arm. You just gotta keep flexing that wrist, pretend like you're donating blood. There's no pad right here. The good news is, it's actually, it, it, most of the time, I don't have any of that like, you know, arm falling off syndrome, because it's not too, too, too heavy. Oftentimes I have big bulky things in here that aren't necessarily all that heavy. Like here's one of their slings, right? I've been using this green one. They sent us this one for my wife to use. She put it in the car, we <laughs> never used it. But I'm constantly throwing my sling into here. And this becomes our bag that's the go-to like river bag or whatever. Got two side handles. If you wanted to carry it like this, when you zip everything up together, there's a possibility for doing backpack straps with these, which if you're gonna move around, if you're gonna walk for a while, sometimes that'll be worth it. And 
like I said, I never zipped it up and over anything. I don't want to like hunt through some big cocoon of a bag to find what I'm wanting. That's what this is. This is a visual sort of just gathering thing. And I, I used to use like a basket because a basket doesn't look very, you can have a bat, like a wicker basket, soft wicker basket in your living room at an Airbnb and has all my little things that I need in the living room. Doesn't look all that bad. This is a little more of a like, you know, this looks like it wants to go on an excursion. <laughs> you know, this is like, this This bag is asking you, hey, does your car have four wheel drive? This bag wants to know if you wanna kill like nine or 10 hours at a river. Like see how long you can just plop on the side of a river. We've got these nice little, little hexagon packed logo things that actually have a structural purpose, right? It's like bar tacking, but they made their logo out of it to reinforce this. I don't have, Again, I've rucked around in this a bunch and it performed exactly how I expected it to. But that was for like almost five weeks, right? What's this gonna be like in a year or two? I don't know, we'll see. Recycled polyester material made from recycled single-use water bottles, badass webbing, good, good stitching like we saw on the logo there. It's pretty damn well reinforced and you have this weather seal, water seal, material down here that's just works great like i was at the pool i really didn't want it to get bot like wet on the bottom then i'm like oh it's gonna be fine you know someone's dripping wet and splashing it's like i'm fine with that i have loved using this bag so far so good uh it's got hard sides that you and that i installed like they, they install they send them they send it to you you install it yourself and the first ones that they sent actually kind of bowed out and stayed bowed out. And he's like, we've got new ones that we've upgraded. Everybody's had that problem. So they are very much in the process of making these continually better. That's one of the things I like about Pact so much. Shout out to Malcolm and Sarah and the crew for supporting this channel, for sponsoring our trip. Now, let me give you my lowdown on like the bags that we literally lived out of for the last almost five weeks. Now, the one that I've spent the most time with on a daily basis is this five liter sling, okay? You've got zips that come all the way down but a gusset here, so this main compartment, all right, remains kind of visible and open to you while you're in it. And like, I'm not crazy about like how this sling necessarily looks but the per but like once I got used to using it I'm just like this is done it's a done deal quickly slide it around you have what you need right here I lived out of this front pocket all right I would often just throw my phone glasses little mints like all sorts of little stuff this became like mom's purse for me and I didn't mind it honestly like I knew I had my like lighter in there I knew I had my pair of glasses my spare pair of glasses in case someone needs them from Rove that like fold into this thing that look a little, a little too steampunk. Like a little bit like you need a top hat and a cigar and some opinions about the blockchain. It has handles on basically all sides, which make it really nice. This thing totally folds away inside of here. And to be frank, I thought I would carry it like that the whole time. This is like my, my go-to. It's just like this, no strap necessary, throw it on the table, put it like between my legs, right next to me on the chair or whatever. You've got this little over the shoulder boulder holder, whatever. This is like how I thought I would carry it. But once I pulled this out uh, for it, cause I needed it for something, I never put it back in. I just liked this an awful lot. It's not like, you know, the sleekest cool like air sling or something like that, but man, a shove it. I used the schnitzel out of this. A little bit on the inside in here. Again, this front pocket is just one big pouch. Then you have, here's my book I'm reading, Life Itself, Its Origins and Nature by Francis Crick, the guy who like, uh, what did he do? Something about DNA. Like that whole double helix thing, like originates from this guy somehow. And I think some LSD. Inside of here, you have a meshy on one side, beautiful little, just simple corded zipper pull. The zips on this thing all move so smooth. There's a couple times when it's on body and this one out here doesn't close very well. I need the two hands on that one, but everything else has been really one handable. This zipper pocket inside of here, I threw a bunch of 
tables, some like breath mints and dongles, some spare cash and a business heart, like credit card. That's the stuff that I don't need, but it's nice when I, like the headphones that are corded in when I'm editing and I don't have my Bluetooth headphones or something like that. It's like, oh cool, I can just slide those right in. I did that a few times, that was useful. Then on this side, little meshy, a little non-meshy, I put some, some three by five cards in there. Great little pen slot. I'm using the Everyman pen. I will link to this below. And might I recommend using something like this Retro 51, which twists instead of clicks to open because you, you just don't want, you just don't want an accidental like little bump to mean that this nice big rich ballpoint pen is like gonna spray all over your bag. Suffice it to say, it didn't happen, it was fine. And I only used this pen like once. I never really use pens. Then you've got some magnet pouches, like a, a big magnet pouch right here in the back. This one also has a little magnet in it. My three by five cards come up a little tall, so I don't end up using it. By the way, I never used the three by five cards the whole time we had it. <laughs> what matters is you have what you think you might need. And this size ended up being great. I think they crushed this. This was designed to be your sort of road trip buddy. When you're in transit and you got all the things that you need in that little way. I mean, when, when I'm traveling, we're in Flagstaff, Arizona, or we go to the Grand Canyon, it's like, I'll just grab this and take it with me. It doesn't cost me very much. I normally have a bunch of bars. We ate them all in here. Oftentimes I would take my book out and I put my little Fuji X100T camera in there uh, because it takes great pictures. Oh my goodness. And it fits right in here. Just little guy. Five liters is a nice, nice size. Okay, the 25 liter duffel. This is exactly how I had it. I have not even unpacked from this trip yet. You can see that I'm using the rolling method. These are pants and shorts. This is a jammy shirt. I have long sleeve shirts that I folded sort of long ways and just had them right here. They were sort of my troublesome bit. There's a divider right here. Do you see that? It's a removable divider that just buttons onto the sides. I left that in because it kept a nice pants side over here. Then some t-shirts rolled up and on this side, huge pocket for like your water bottle thing. This bag was kind of made apparently to be in the middle seat of your the back row, right? So you've got your driver and your, and your passenger, you got the back row. This is in the middle, maybe you have two passengers in the back and this is kind of in the middle. Huge water bottle compartment, you can fit sometimes two water bottles in here. And as the driver, you can kind of reach back and grab it from there. Really nice, they did the same thing on this side, just about a little bit of, a, of an elastic in there, whereas this one has these magnetic little guys. You see this right here? They just slip them, come together. But I left it open the whole time because that's where Daddy kept his hats, you know? You gotta, gotta have your headwear. External access on this thing was great. Look, I just used this outside pocket here for my undies. I just fold up my ex officio undies and love it. I, I, don't even, I don't even zip it, honestly. Then you have another big sort of magnetic pocket behind here. That would be perfect for magazines, for business papers. Man, you also have that same thing on this side in the back. And then two of these guys, which are like, I kept my, I kept my watch in one of them. <laughs> and I think I ended up leaving that somewhere. And then like one pair of socks. I didn't wear socks the entire time. So this was my like ramshackle version of carrying this bag. This is not what this is designed for. We had two of the big duffels, which I'll show you next. Wife had one, son had one. Have you, do you think I'm, how do you think I feel about that, huh? I'm still talking about it. I mentioned it in the song. I mentioned it since then. <laughs> I'm mentioning it again. Suffice it to say, this 25 liters was actually totally fine for me. It was tight, but I do love this visibility from the top for this rolled up action. And here to let you look inside a little bit, uh, you've also got like a laptop compartment over here. Again, this thing is detachable and you can just get, you know, collapse it away if you want. There's a meshy over here. There's another pouch over here and like a tablet and a laptop over here with a little guy that can clip over if you want. I do just love the size and the form factor on this thing. This is an epic like quick weekender like duffel to have. And I just like the, you know, have I mentioned the materials? 
Everything here is made from single-use recycled plastic. This guy zips up to the top and it has a little horseshoe that can come around, right? So you can you can leave it zipped, you can leave it unzipped, you can leave one side zipped, you can get access in a lot of different ways. Like I said, I love this top access kind of thing when I'm traveling. I mean, we were gone for almost five weeks and I had those clothes that you see and, and it was tight, but the rolly really worked for that. Uh, just, ah, come on, little luggage pass through. I just think it looks so good. And your strap doesn't have um, a padding on this one. You'll see the strap on the next one does. Okay, the 55 liter duffel. This one's empty. This one is kind of how it would end up getting used when we're not like, I'm, I make my wife zip it up when, when it's time for travel. She does a good job with that. But when we're living out of it, sometimes it just might look like this, so it's big. You know, it just explodes. By the way, love this little pouch from Tom Ben. We did this as our like family toiletries bag. It folds down so it doesn't look too terrible when you're at a hotel or an Airbnb and you've got everybody's stuff right there in that little guy. I'll link to that below. That'll support the channel. Let me show you this empty one to give you a sense of what's so important about this bag. It does the things that all packed bags do. Oh, so here you have two sides. Can I even fit that on the screen? I can't. You have two big sides. And look at the dimension in there. Look at the depth, okay? Each one of these panels is just a zipper into that main compartment. This one has two meshy bits on top. This one has one opaque uh, bit that you can throw your unmentionables in, okay? So open that up. On this side, you have nothing but space. Tons of space. Here's a roll up of one of my pants. These are the Oliver's pants. Did you see my pants video, by the way? And you can just see it's like, to me, I just love that. It's the perfect size. It's got a little space on top. If I need to, I can put a bunch of rolled pants or other stuff here and then lay something out on top of it. I can just, there's lots of space on one side of this. Then on the other side, there's lots of space as well, right? So you have two equal size compartments. On the back of this one, you have more meshy pockets that you can throw stuff in so it won't move around your, your bag while in transit. Now, here's something interesting that they've done. You can take this, okay, roll this up, all right, and it's got these little elastic hookies. Hook those into the little loop provided. Now, what you have is the ability to make this bag one giant container that you can open on this side and have access to the whole kitten caboodle. So if you wanted to organize this as like a just a huge bin, like the throwing mounds of, of packing cubes in, for example, sometimes that's easiest. Give everybody a packing cube, throw all those packing cubes in some big bag that gathers everything together, that has backpack straps, show you that in a second. So you're just carrying everybody's individual stuff in one thing. That's one killer way of doing, like, I'm, again, I'm the dad. So I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about conveyance concerns. Front side of this, you have seen this before. This is the packed sort of signature from their packed one duffel. These have bigger space. I mean, it's nice, lots of space. You see inside of here, I have taken off the duffel and just put it in there because my son carried this one, backpack straps, uh, you know, the whole time. However, most of the time that I carried this, it was either with the handles, which I freaking love these handles. There's nothing special about them. They do have one little gather strap that you snap on like that and you cut, you, it keeps them together. That's nice. But this, I actually use this quite a bit too. It's nice to go hands-free even though you got, you know, hands if you need them. Sometimes I'm doing this because I'm carrying another backpack or something else, right? And this is probably my preferred way of traveling with this because the backpack straps do take up some space and flop around a little bit when you're mixing and matching between hands and backpack strap mode, okay? So these backpack straps fold away 
into this zippered compartment on this nice paneled back. And this is the one thing that they're changing in production. Uh, they've tested, th this is not the right kind of hook. I'm telling you that you actually don't even need to know it. It's not gonna get, it's like you're literally never gonna know that this happened. I just like to keep records of, you know, how products develop over time when designers like thoughtful about, oh, this can be better. So on this side, you have the two pockets and on the back, you have the backpack straps or they can go away and you have nothing. Zippers are all YKK. They move really smooth and good. I love them. And again, you could, you could do this or I think most people are gonna be excited about having the two sides thing. Now, that backpack up there, that is the pack backpacked that they worked with me. I helped them to design this, right? So. I gave them a bunch of ideas for what my dreams were for road trip travel. They totally implemented some of those. This one, they took me to Vietnam and showed me how everything gets made and we were like going through prototypes and stuff. That's a carry-on backpack version of a bag like this. This is the 55 liter version for road travel. Now, several of the team have actually gotten this on uh, United States carry-on flights. Like it just got through because <laughs> That's what the U.S. is like sometimes, you know? Shit just gets through. Europe, good luck. Southeast Asia, Australia, no way, right? This is a, this is a, a check, a killer check-in bag. Uh, a, an excellent, like the, the best of the best road trip bag because you got plenty of space when you're road tripping, you know? I thought for sure my wife could be on one side and I could be on the other and she was like, no. No, I'm not gonna do that this time. <laughs> Respect. So that's it. That's the Packed Anywhere collection. I'll link to them below. If you use my link, it'll often support the channel. Packed are great partners about that stuff. Shout out to Packed. And ask questions in the comments. They're just out with these things right now as I'm making this video. So there's a little bit of an early bird discount on the crowdfunding campaign. That's it. I'm the dad.